300 bodies multiplied by three, shout out Jermaine, we got 900 total bodies. Holy hell, what is going on? Miss Annie Knight, you for the streets. What the hell? Not, nah, not 900 bodies is crazy. All right, what is up, y'all? Welcome back. And do y'all remember Annie Knight, the woman who slept with 300 people? Yeah, that's right. You heard that correctly. 300 people in one goddamn calendar year. Remember her? We made a video on her a while back, but now we've got ourselves an update, an IRL patch, if you will, because it would appear that in the spirit of the new year, the lovely Miss Knight, Australia's most decorated coitus crusader, honestly, <laughs> has a little bit of a New Year's resolution, and boy, you aren't going to want to miss this, or any of the other stories we'll cover today for that matter, so... Real quick, if you're new around here and you aren't a bitch-ass father fucker, subscribe to the channel, man, because it's a scientific fact that if you don't subscribe, you get no bitches. And honestly, what a shame that would be. The article says, Sex sells. An Australian woman who hit headlines for sleeping with 300 people in a year has kicked off 2024 by unveiling an unlikely new business venture. Oh boy, I wonder what this new business venture could be. Let's go ahead and find out. Annie Knight 26 is launching an account on Cameo. Oh, God. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> a website where fans can pay for personalized video messages from celebrities. While Knight is not an A lister per se, yeah, nowhere close, the bisexual bombshell is certainly trying to capitalize on her newfound notoriety, charging $80 a pop for a recorded message. Following in the footsteps of notorious newsmakers like ousted Long Island Congressman George Santos and former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani. Many people request cameo videos as gifts for their friend's birthday. Knight is also offering that service. However, the amorous Aussie is going one step further than casual greetings, providing pep talks and advice to those willing to shell out the extra dollars. So. Let, let, let's break this down for a second. So, like, kind of like the article said, people typically will hop on Cameo to get recorded messages for their friends' birthdays from from celebrities. I know there was there was a big meme going around where Dean Norris from Breaking Bad, he played Hank, he would go on there and basically just be given a script and just say some crazy shit, like talking about his skibbity riz and how he's at the gritty competition in Ohio and. The sussy among us bakas that watch JoJo. Just crazy shit. You y'all probably know what I'm talking about, right? Well, I don't know, man. You've been seeming sus lately. It's almost like we have an imposter among us. I saw that you wanted don't lie to me, Walt! You sussy baka. But it's like it's funny because that's just the kind of guy he is. And obviously he's a very noteworthy guy, right? I mean he played a critical role in the hit series Breaking Bad. Love that show, by the way. If y'all haven't watched it by now, you're missing out. But it's like, people people already have this love and respect for Hank Schrader or Dean Norris. And so obviously it would make sense to get a cameo from someone like this. But, but this bitch is a nobody. Like, how is she hopping on here? And how is she going to charge $80 a pop? That's like eight times the price of what her OnlyFans probably is. So, like, the, the audacity of these bitches, right? But at the same time, can you really blame her? Because you know there's some losers out there that are totally going to buy into this. I just personally don't understand why you would go to someone like this girl for a pep talk or advice, right? Like, I, I just don't really get why anyone would pay for something like this. That's just me keeping it a buck. Knight also offers to roast fans should they desire to splash a bit of cash on some playful teasing. Okay, now this all makes sense. You know, this is all coming full circle now. I could totally see simp losers that just love being humiliated and verbally assaulted and all that weird shit. God, why, man? Like, side note, why, why are people like this? You know, how have we gotten to this point to where literally just some basic nobody bitch can charge 80 bucks for a cameo where basically people are getting roasted and people will actually eat it up and, and buy it and it's, it's absolutely absurd the world we we are living in you know 2024 is already off to a catastrophic start 
Knight sleeps with both men and women and told the radio program that she met many of her sex partners on dating apps. She added that she also had a roster of regulars whom she kept on speed dial. So we've covered this before, but I, I mentioned this because it segues perfectly into my next point here. So, however, the busy bed hopping beauty is also on the lookout for love. Knight is currently on a mission to go on 52 dates in 52 weeks, saying she's been single for the past three years. Hmm, I can't imagine why that is. I've never had much of a dating life. I used to go on about three dates a year. So that's why I want to do this now declared night so you basically just fucked and fucked and fucked until you're bored of it and now you've decided oh you know i want to settle down with a with a nice guy I hate to break it to you that might be a little bit harder than you're currently perceiving it but i've never been much of a dater so i wanted to give myself an incentive and i'm holding myself accountable by posting the reviews of the dates online Wow, where, where do I even begin with this? So if I'm to understand this correctly, she has 300 bodies, right? So she got a whole national sports league on her roster of sexual partners. And she even got that rotation going, right? You know, where the bitch is distributing the playing time evenly. You know, always got fresh legs or, you know, should I say fresh dick out on the court. That's nuts. And yet is somehow surprised by the fact that she's had trouble in the dating world. You know, it's almost like the average guy gets a little turned off by the thought that you don't think twice about sleeping with someone. You just go ahead and do it on some Nike shit. Like, it's just second nature, you know? An obvious autonomic response. Like, how are these guys supposed to think they aren't just the flavor of the week or something? And I know people are gonna wanna castrate me, you know, oh, you sexist fuck, or oh, you're just slut shaming, bro. But, but let me make it clear, you know, you trying to hoe around, you know, that's your prerogative. I ain't gonna judge, at least not too harshly. Like, like do what makes you happy, right? But at the same time, you can't expect to not reap what you sow, right? That's like me eating like shit, not exercising, and then expecting to have a six pack, right? Like, this shit just ain't adding up. You know, you gotta attract who you want by being what you want. You know, be the change you wanna see in the world type shit, if that makes sense. And I think it's crazy, too, how she talks about how she's going to, you know, stay accountable, you know, with this whole goal. Like, it's something more than just getting free food and then roasting guys on how bad they are in bed or how small their PP is. <laughs> I don't know. Based on your track record, though, all I'm saying is this goal might be a tad bit lofty. But for the for the guys out there, and I guess for the gals, because, you know, she's, she's into both teams here, stay safe out there, fellas. And fellettes. It's definitely not a word. And for our final story here, we're going to talk about another character that we've covered here on the channel. We're, of course, talking about Jack Doherty. I, I didn't want to really talk about all the bullshit he's been up to lately, but I saw a clip on Twitter last night of something where he he's honestly crossed a lot of lines, and I think this needs to be talked about. Let's roll the clip. I would just say you just got the car. You're sorry. Have hmm. you ever had a ticket before? Um, I think so. Well, I haven't seen anything, that's right. So you have three options, okay? Pay the ticket, get points on your license, which is for insurance. Second option is pay the ticket. I've been driving school online, so you won't have any points. Third one, give us a ticket, give me a ticket, attorney, have him take care of it for you. All right, make sure you choose one of these three options within one month, otherwise they suspend your license. Make sure you slow down. This is residential area. You're going 30 miles almost above the speed limit. You know, it's too fast. I'm sorry. All right? Thank you. All right, be careful driving. I'll stop. I'll never do it again. Nah, man, I, I hate this kid, man, like, for real, like, what the fuck is your problem, seriously, because w what I can conclude from this video is that he's in a residential neighborhood, at night, might I add, where visibility is greatly diminished, going 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, so for context, in my neighborhood, the speed limit, I believe, is like 20, maybe 25, so you mean to tell me Lil Bro is pushing 50 possibly even 55 in a residential neighborhood where people live and are perhaps out and about you know kids playing or, or more realistically you know people walking their dogs or some shit like you are an absolute fucking menace dude you're you're beyond that annoying ass rage bait you know you post to your 12 year old following now you're putting people's lives at risk and for what a viral video in your septic tank of cringy shit ass content 
Like, it's actually pretty disturbing to think about this, because, like, is it to the point where it's gonna cost someone their life for you to take a hint? Like, like imagine someone is killed from this. You know, someone loses a loved one over your negligence and constant need for attention and validation on the internet. And, and I'm not about canceling people or deplatforming people, but, but Kick needs to do something about this, because as far as I know, no disciplinary action has been made at the hand of Kick. And he needs some time off the platform, you know, to think about what he's done. You know, let the, the consequences of his actions kind of marinate into his head or something. Because dude clearly shows no remorse. Even after the officer very kindly explained to him the consequences and why what he was doing was wrong. Like, if I was a cop and some bratty little kid was speeding through a residential neighborhood, I'm scolding the little fucker. Like, like keeping it a buck, man. Like, he just sat there and then even went as far to mock her and made light of the situation when she walked away. Like, Lil Bro didn't give two shits, and, and quite frankly, that officer had all the right in the world to arrest his ass. But, but you know, she didn't. Because Bro is going just way too fast. And, he, and he's in a fucking sports car, too. He's like in a Lamborghini or some shit. So we can all see what's happening here, you know? We're not stupid. But, you know, she didn't arrest him. And so, like I said, you know, Kick needs to do something because if not... Who knows what could happen, but bottom line is, I hate this little fucker, dude, and he needs a reality check, but guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like rating, subscribe to the channel for more commentaries just like this. Leave a comment down below. I would absolutely love to hear what y'all have to say about this, and until next time, guys, this is Runter, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.